the symptoms that, that can present and can, can or might mean ovarian cancer are bloating, abdominal or pelvic pain, urinary frequency, going to the bathroom frequently, or this urgency that I have to get to the bathroom really fast. And the tip off is that I have these symptoms to a more severe degree than you kind of expect, and you have them most days. And it's been persistent for several weeks. So those are the warning signs. Doesn't mean you have cancer, but it's a warning sign. So you should get in and, and talk to somebody about that so that they can help you out. Things that aren't signs of cancer are um, fatigue, for instance, or indigestion. People talk about the, uh, with ovarian cancer, um, your tummy is getting bigger or your abdominal circumference is getting bigger, but you're losing weight. That's classic um, for ovarian cancer, but it usually means it's um, well beyond the ovary when those symptoms start. There's a lot of press about CA-125 and ovarian cancer, but it is not the diagnostic test. It is the test to follow treatment of disease, so treatment of her ovarian cancer. It is really a lousy test at diagnosis, and that's just because it's not specific. The problem with ovarian cancer is we do not have a good screening tool for ovarian cancer. We just don't. All cancers, we have a much better rate of success in treating them if we find them early. And that's true for all cancers, like I said. So when you have this, these symptoms that are persistent for you know several weeks uh, on a daily or almost daily basis, then um, you should get in to get seen. Because even if we find you at stage two, that's better than stage three. And if we find you at stage three, that's better than stage four. So. The earlier we can diagnose the cancer, then we have a much better chance at treating you successfully.